What's up, YouTubers and Instagrammers as well? I have not been vlogging every day for Vlogmas like I am supposed to, but you know, it's it kind of hard and sometimes I'm busy. But I wanted to talk today about encountering people who are homophobic. I might be straight as an arrow, but I have a gay male best friend and I don't have any issues with gay people, period. Um, I don't have an issue with anyone who's respectable to me. I'm going to be respectable to them. But last night, I was meeting up with this guy, and he had made a homophobic statement before, and I checked him on it. I thought he got the picture when I told him that. I said, oh, I have a gay male best friend. I don't like that. Don't do that. And don't have that kind of thinking because that's ignorant. But you have to think about some people. He's been to prison. There you have it. So you have these issues. Either you come out of prison having explored it, being gay, or you are totally against it. I've never seen any in between, like, they don't carry the way it doesn't affect them. I've never seen anyone who says that. It's always either they hate it or they are with it but that's neither here nor there my whole thing is if you're going to be homophobic you can't you can't date me there are numerous reasons you can't date me you know but that is one of the deal breakers for me i don't practice intolerance i just i don't I'm pro I'm pro black, but I still don't feel like I should go around calling people of other races out of their names and just blatantly being racist towards them for no reason or just being ignorant or any of that stuff because I don't feel like it's necessary to do that. So I am not with intolerance. I'm just not with it. I feel like it's pure ignorance is totally uncalled for and it's just not something that i'm willing to uh deal with putting coconut oil on my lips y'all so i don't think i'm being a weirdo um he was saying some very inflammatory things to me and then he was doing it on purpose he was also an aries like i am and one thing that we can do is that we know we can get under your skin we're going to get under your skin if we can if we're being petty but you know, if we're being mature about it, we just let stuff rock and we just ignore it. And I felt like because I was asking him not to do that and not to be uh, vengeful and not to be hateful, that he was purposely doing it. We got into a shouting match. We got into a shouting match and Anybody who knows me knows I don't go around shouting at men and getting into it with men like that. And I don't I don't carry myself like that. And I carry myself very much like a lady. But for me to get out of character like that, you had to have done something major to me for me to be feeling that way and acting that way towards you. And I definitely felt like he was disrespectful. On purpose and I felt like he was trying to push my buttons and I know he was trying to push my buttons and it was just horrible this is supposed to be our first date and this is how you act I already had an issue with him because he had an attitude and I told him I said listen I'm on a, a negativity detox I don't want to talk about negative things if you have neg these negative thoughts and feelings about gay people keep it to yourself and I knew then it was going to be our last day because I was like I don't like his whole way of thinking and this is the second time that I've had to tell him about this and I've had to um basically get him in check about this more than once and I shouldn't have to do that because now you're being homophobic and I find out oh you know I already knew he had been in prison before but I tried to keep that I don't I don't try to um hold that against people because I've had 
relatives who've been to prison that came out and didn't act like that and don't act like that and they're good people and it doesn't mean anything because you made a mistake in your past and you've been to prison i didn't know he had been to prison because he's he works and he has a house and everything so i didn't know that until he told me um and he you know it, it doesn't seem like you know he's 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 on the 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 straight no pun intended path so you know of course i wouldn't think that until he was honest with me and he told me we were having a discussion but I said I'm not going to hold it against him however I am holding it against him that he's homophobic all day long I'm holding that against him absolutely because you can't be an asshole like that to people for no reason and just think it's okay and what happened was I was listening to a podcast and he's talking to me and he's like that N-word sounds gay. I said, well, he is gay. I said, he's gay. I said, and she, I, and, I, and I think I told him the other host is bi. It's the read that I was listening to with Kid Fury and Crystal. I love that podcast. It's one of the few that I listen to and I, and I, and I like it. That's neither here nor there. When he said that, I was kind of taken aback like, did you really say that just now? Like, did that come out of your mouth? Like, are you serious? He was serious. And he just let more ignorance spew out of his mouth. Uh, uh, gay slurs. Just everything. And I didn't gel with that. And I didn't connect with that. I'm not with anything negative anymore. I've had enough negativity to last me a lifetime. One of my friends thinks I'm mad at her right now because somebody who I was dealing with actually liked her and didn't realize it was her on a dating site. But I'm not mad at you for that. I'm just disappointed in the person. I had been hurt by this person and this person ignores me. Ignored me. I don't I don't worry about them anymore. But it still hurts. And she thinks I'm mad at her, but she's one of my best friends. I've been my best friend for 30 years. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm never going to hold anything like that against her. I would never do that. Um, but it does hurt. And when things hurt me, another part of my area's trait is I will go inwards. And I went inward. So, um, and I'm still inward about it. Um, it just brings up a lot of negative feelings, a lot of hurt. A lot of disappointment and I just went inward because I'm trying to be um stay on my positivity and be positive and remain positive and I don't want to let anything engulf me that isn't positive so I'm really serious about positivity in my life right now and from going forward I don't even have to wait for 2020 just period. I'm very serious about positivity in my life. I'm a positive person and I exude kindness to everyone and I exude hospitality to everyone and I'm very forgiving. However, I'm not a person that you could just run over t numerous times and feel like it's going to be okay. And I'm getting verklempt about it because you would think that with the spirit that I have and what I exude that it would make people want to be the same way but they're not people are very selfish people are very self-centered people are very disloyal people are very um they don't they're very broken is the best thing i could say they're broken they don't know how to accept pure love they don't know how to accept sincerity and sometimes a person could just simply not like you but that's where honesty comes into play you can be honest about that we don't connect we don't jail i know you like me but i don't like you like that and i'm gonna stop coming around because i don't want to keep this going because i don't feel the same but ghosting somebody, never cool. Never cool. 
Um, I would never do that. If I don't like you, I'm going to tell you. And I'll explain why. If you want to know why, I usually explain why anyway. And we just don't connect. We don't vibe. We don't gel. That's it. I'm not going to keep you strung, strung along and use you or, or do anything of that, embarrass you and hurt you and do any of that. That's, I don't roll like that. That's not my thing. I believe in being kind to people and it's just not my way of doing things. I just don't do it like that. But everybody's not the same. And I have to remember that. I really have to remember that. Um, but if you're homophobic, you can't date me. If you're narcissistic, you can't date me. Those are complete deal breakers to me. If you have homophobia, a homophobic bone in your body, just, you can't be in my presence with that. I don't think like that. I don't operate like that. I don't act like that. I don't roll like that. It's just not a cool thing. Um, and I don't try to be cool and fit in with anybody. I just am who I am. And I love people and I'm tolerant to people. So I don't, I just don't, I don't do that. He tried to throw Bible verses at me and all. But this person has a child that they had out of the wedlock that they were a deadbeat dad to. You can't tell me anything, especially being a deadbeat dad. Especially being a struggling single mother, you definitely can't tell me anything coming from the ass the point of being a deadbeat dad, telling me anything is right or wrong. Because you don't clearly you don't know right from wrong either. We're all in this world learning. And we ain't here to judge nobody. That's not our job. Keep that in mind, y'all. That's not your job. It is what it is. That's why Jehovah's Witnesses don't do jury duty because they know it's not their job to judge. But everybody want to talk about Jehovah's Witnesses too. But don't get me started on that. But anyway, y'all rate, comment below. Tell me what you think. What's your take on it? Are you homophobic? And if you are, why? Have you? Uh, what's your reason for it? I'm, a, I'm out, y'all.